this tutorial, we are going to learn how to connect our image slider component with the Framer CMS items. Now, this kind of slider is pretty common in e-commerce websites, and we're going to learn how to connect it with our CMS images. Um, also, we're going to learn how to control the visibility of the image items depending on the number of images we upload in the CMS. So let's do it. All right. So here I have the slider component, which I've copied uh, to show you how you can connect it with your CMS. So let's see how this slider works. So this is a pretty simple slider. You can click on the certain images and the main view changes. So this is pretty common in e-commerce uh, products, e-commerce websites. So let's connect our images uh, with the CMS. So, but first we need to make the CMS, right? So we're going to go over here and create new CMS page. And Framer is going to give us this pre-built five samples. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to select all of it and then remove all of them. Now we are going to create a new item and I'm just going to keep the images here. So we're going to go to edit fields and remove the date and the content from here. And this one image will make it image one. And maybe we make it required. We at least maybe need one image in for our product. Then we're going to create three new image fields so if it wants to be two and this one image three and this one another one image four right so now let's just say that name the title is product one for the image one I'll go to unsplash search for font and maybe put one font here and I'll do the same for the rest of the fields. So we need three more images. And here. Why? So now I'm going to save it and then duplicate the first product and remove all of the images and change maybe use maybe any other image plant of any plant so let me just select this one and let's say we don't need uh, four images in product two we need only two this kind of situation sometimes arises because you might have um, five images uh, for any product and then two images for any other product, you know? So maximum five you can maybe upload. Uh, all right. So we have it for a one copy. I'll change the name to product two and save it, right? Now, if we go back here, uh, Framer will give us this default blog site now we are not interested into this we're just gonna edit the details page let's say so i'm gonna okay copy this component slider component come over here and remove all of it it's already there and paste the slider now we need to connect our slider with our cms we want those images into our sliders right so we're gonna go over here and we need to connect our images with the CMS items, right? So we're going to select the image one and the first image like this one and this one with our CMS item. So we're going to select this, click on this field and set the variable to image one and it's going to go away. But don't worry, it's going to come back when you go back to the product details page. Now, we, I'm going to do the same for the rest 
of the images, set the variables accordingly. So image three and this one, uh, yeah, image three and the final one, like this one. So image four, fill image four. Now, if we go back and go over here, nothing is shown. And so we need to still need to connect our variants with the CMS because this is a component. So we click over here, image one should be connected with image one. Now we get to see it, right? So the rest of the images should be connected accordingly. Image four. All right, this is connected and it is connected. It is coming from our CMS, right? So if we click on it, we go to here. Well, we get, still get to see it, edit in CMS. You see our product one had four images and two, this one has two images. Now if we go back here and change to product two, we get to see only two images, right? Now the problem here is we still have this frame, right? So we need to work with the visibility of it and set a variable. Like if there is no image, don't show this frame. So how can we do that? We need to go to our slider component. And remember, we set the first one, first image required. And the other three, we didn't set it as required. But I still can do set up the visibility for every image. So I'm going to do the same. Let's say we select image one and this frame, we want to remove the whole frame, whole stack, if the image is not available, right? We don't want to show that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select both of it and set a variable here in the visibility section. So it is visible now, but we need to set it to image one. If the image one is set, then show it. It's going to go away, but don't worry. It is connected with our CMS now, so we don't need to worry about that if it goes away. Now we do the same thing for the others as well. So come select the image and the interactive part over here, and then set a variable in the visibility. And it is connected with image two and image three and this one. Same thing, if set, and what it is doing actually like image three variable condition is set, then show it. If not, then don't show it. Pretty simple. So we set the image for the final one to a set. Now everything is gone from here. But if you go back here in our product two, now we don't see that stack, right? So we can play it and that's not going to come over here. That's not going to appear right and we can check the product one as well and product one has four images right so you see we see four images here cool so this was it and i hope you have learned something new in this video and i'll see you in the next one happy designing